God created us. Uh, body, soul, and spirit. You're more than your brain. Uh, your brain is part of your soul, suke in Greek. It has to do with the way we experience ourselves, okay? That's the, the way, the, the narrative we, we, we live in, all right? And, and, but we're more than that. Most people don't realize it. They, they think they are just their brain, whatever they experience themselves being. They think that that's what they are because they believe their brain. They think they identify that as real. But you're more than that. Your body, soul, and spirit, and spirit's the most fundamental aspect of you. That's the seat of your will. And in God's design, we as spirit agents are supposed to have authority over our brain. It's, it's given to us as our tool. It's our organic computer by which we interface with the outside world. And, and we are entrusted under the lordship of Jesus Christ to program that thing. That's why, so we're not supposed to be following our brain. Our brain's supposed to be following us. And we're not supposed to be listening to what our brain tells us is true. We're supposed to be telling our brain what is true. We've got it all, one of the effects of the fall is that all that got reversed. But in Christ, we're to get the right order back in place. See, this is why the Bible tells us a number of times what we're supposed to think, which would make zero sense if we didn't have power over what we think. So, for example, here's what Paul says, Philippians 4 8. Listen to this. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. It's your responsibility to think about what is true and noble and right and, and lovely and pure, which means that when you find stuff in your brain, which means that you're, you're aware of what's going on in your brain because most people aren't, but when you find stuff in your brain that's not lovely, true or noble or right or lovely or pure, you set it aside to turn your brain to what is true and, and, and right and noble and lovely and pure. We have authority over our brain, and that's no more difficult than turning a green banana into a yellow banana. If you realize that you've got the authority to do that, and if you're aware of what your brain is thinking, we're not supposed to follow the brain, we're supposed to lead the brain. And, and we'll see that that's a very important thing. Here, 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 here's why. Most of what is in everyone's brain is what they've inherited from this world, this fallen world. Uh, in the process of growing up, we just sort of, our brain just absor absorbs things. And you know, the brain never shuts up. It doesn't shut up for, for a second. Try to make it shut up for a second. Go lock yourself in a, in a bathroom and see how long you can go in total silence without any chatter going on in your brain. In, in three seconds, you'll hear something like, how am I doing? Oh, this isn't hard, too hard. Uh, yeah. it, <laughs> It, it's just a chatter machine. Even when you're sleeping, it chatters. So it just regurgitates stuff all the time. And most of what it regurgitates, in fact, all of what it regurgitates is what's come into it. Okay? Uh, I, all the stuff it absorbs. Everything that's ever been said to you, everything that's ever been done to you, every experience you've gone through, good or bad, uh, a, 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 every, every TV show you've ever watched, every false conclusion you've ever come to, every movie, every, all the social media that bombards us continually, all that goes into the brain. The brain just chews on it and chews on it and chews on it. And while I'm sure some of what you received in the process of growing up was true and right and noble and lovely and pure, a lot of it's not. A lot of it's pure garbage. Pure garbage. But the brain just churns on that. It just renews itself over and over again and all that pollution, all that false stuff it inherits from the world. And the way you see yourself, it's just a result of all of that. 